Hello, everyone, and welcome to Eve Basics. New webcam, new mustache, new attitude. Let's do this thing. So this is episode 19. I'm going to talk about a PVE vexer build that I really like for ratting specifically. Although you could probably take it into missions or any other sort of PVE thing and have some success with it. So I've tried a lot of different fits when I'm ratting and um, playing this game in general. I find that I tend to really enjoy blasters uh, quite a bit. Um, there are definitely ways to build the Vexer where you don't have any guns, or you have one gun just to draw aggro from a really long range or something like that. Um, but I find that I get bored just sending my drones in and then twiddling my thumbs and waiting for stuff. So I like to fly around quick and get in there with blasters, and it, it can really add to your DPS a lot. Um, the most DPS I can really get out of a Vexer with just drones is somewhere around like 400. But if we pop the blasters in, I can get up into the 550s, which is really nice. And you can apply this a lot of times. Um, it's not like, well, you're not going to be shooting your guns at anything. No, you'll shoot your guns at stuff. Um, so, you know, when you're routing, you tend to, to blast in towards the battleships in this thing. Get orbiting those. Once you're orbiting them, you can shut your MWD off, and they still won't really be able to hit you if you're orbiting at 500 or whatever. Um, so it's a very safe fit as well. The hardest spawns, uh, hardest rat spawns for this thing is like cruisers. Um, it's really bad against cruisers, but you just do what you can with what you're given. So let's go over the fit. I'll start up here with the heavy ion blaster twos. I fit ion blasters because I couldn't fit neutron blasters. They too big. So I put the ion blasters on and they're running void ammo, which means your optimal range is within 2800. So you've got to maintain that range to get your maximum damage. So I orbit at 500 in this thing. And I'll talk about that when I get to the next section. Oh, look, I'm at the next section. So the micro warp drive, I put the enduring version on here because I want to have as much cap as possible all the time. When you're ratting, you want to jump to a belt, kill everything there, loot it all, jump to the next belt, kill everything there. Loot. You don't have time to like sit around and wait for the little wheel of your cap to go back up. So enduring versions of this and the stasis web uh, really help out with that. Now, this is for getting in close, right? I can go 1400 meters per second with the micro warp drive on, which is pretty good. The 50 MN version here. Um, the problem is, uh, if I'm not running the web, I web everything I fight in this, even the battleships. So here's what happens I'm burning in, right? And with the micro warp drive, you know, it shuts off at the end of its cycle. So a lot of times, um, you can end up shooting past your target just a little bit, right? If you don't time when to turn it off properly or you wait a cycle too long, you know, you kind of, the ship is slow to turn. And so as I'm zooming by whatever target I'm going for, I activate my web on it and that slows it down so that it takes me less time to swing back around and get into an orbit. I've found that if I run this build without the web, if I put something else here like, you know, like the uh, the thingy that makes the drones, drone navigation computer, if I put that there, it seems like a natural fit on this, right? You want your drones to go fast and get there and do stuff. But I find that if I take the web off this fit, um, I cannot apply my void ammo very well at all. And I want to apply my void ammo. I want to apply it so bad. So I put the web on there and I web everything. Battle cruisers, battleships, whatever. Cruisers, whatever you need to web. You gotta web it down. It can't fly fast and that means you blap it faster. Double cap rechargers, uh, because again, the more cap I can get, the better. I'm not cap stable in this by any means. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm cap stable. I think I'm cap stable with just my wrapper or just my MWD. Either way, it's good to be cap stable with, oh, I'm real close, look at that. Oh, I'm so close, I can taste it. Um, and what's with this? So I'm cap stable with just the MWD, right? Like if you can get cap stable with close to just your repper and close to, well, you gotta have your resistors on too. So, you know, you're, you're, I'm close. So the, the, the closer you can get, the better. Um, and so whatever. So that's why I have these on here. There's nothing else to really put in the mid slots on this. You don't really need the tracking turret. Like I said, if you're webbed down and orbiting close enough, you, you hit every shot. It's no big deal. Only one DDA. Cause we do have to have a decent chunk of tank on here. Cause we're, we gotta get in on these battleships, cruisers and battle uh, cruisers and stuff we do end up taking some damage. So DCU, because it's a DCU, and like you almost can't go wrong with it, there's only a couple of reasons that I wouldn't use it on a ship, I guess. I know there's probably a raging debate on damage controls, but it's almost a guaranteed low slot for me. Is that noobish? Tough. DCUs are amazing, put them on everything, don't be a fool. And then you've got these guys. Now, these are the experimental enduring ones. Again, we want the enduring because it cuts down on our cap, and these things are great anyway. If we 
let's compare them to like their tech two uh, friends here. So let's use the compare window because we are smart and we know what we are doing. Okay, so not only do the um, enduring versions cost, I don't know what percentage this is, but it's a lot less, um, 200,000 versus 2.5 million, it's a lot. Um, they're also only 2% less uh, thermal damage resistance bonus. It's like completely insignificant. If this came in handy one out of every 10,000 times you flew this ship, I'd be surprised. Um, no one's going to squeak out like uh, it, it, it's so it's so close it doesn't matter. The, uh, the main thing too about this is not only does the, not that, there, where's the thing? Where's the guy? Activation cost and this. No. What this? There we go. Sorry, folks. Um, this is 30 gigajoules per cycle and it cycles every 20 seconds. That's kind of a lot. This one's only 10 gigajoules per cycle and it cycles only every 24 seconds. So it's actually even better than you think it is. It's actually better. So instead of like 30 to 10, this is more like 30 to 8. No, 7.5. I don't know. You do the math, but it's better. So these are really amazing on this boat and on anything really. Never use tech twos of these. There's no point. These are just the meta version is just a thousand times better. Uh, and then medium armor repair too. This is the only thing I didn't skimp on the enduring version. I feel like uh, I feel like the enduring version doesn't give you enough hit points back if you're really um, in a bad spawn. Like two battleships and three cruisers, that is a horrible spawn. And I've I've gotten real close to going into hull, even with the uh, armor rep two on this on that spawn. So this is just kinetic armor reinforcer and thermal armor reinforcer again. Because I'm going to be Serpentis ratting in this, I'm just cranking up these two resists. You should never be taking explosive and EM. If you're ratting, you know what profile you're going against. You could build this against any um, any uh, resist profile. I'm just doing Serpentis rats in null. That's what I'm doing. Then another capacitor control circuit because, again, the limiting factor on what you're capable of and how fast you can kill, how fast you can loot, and how fast you can jump to the next belt is your capacitor. That's it. That's the only thing that limits your speed in this. Um, I mean, of course, the DPS too, right? But like, realistically, 550 DPS, that's pretty good for like a Tech 1 Vexer. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. So this is the drones. Um, I Actually, these could be Tech 2s. I haven't trained Tech 2s yet. Let me put the Tech 2s in. I'm only five days away. I swear, guys, I'm going to get the Tech 2. I don't want to type Tech 2 up there. It'll make no sense. I'll put some Vespa Tech 2s in here because I this is what I would run in here, I think. Um, and Tech 2 uh, heavies, forget it. That's like three weeks off for me, and I have other stuff to do. Like, my missile skills are terrible, so we're going to do those first before we get to the heavies, but whatever. So the reason I'm running um, Hornets and Vespas and uh, the Wasps is because I'm going to do Serpentis Rats, and their resist hole is in their kinetic damage, or their kinetic resist. It's only 10% more... Uh, gooder. English is hard. It's only 10% less resist usually than their thermal, but it's still better to do it with these guys. Um, so these are pure kinetic damage, and then I'm using the integrated boss, which is kinetic and thermal. So their biggest hole and their second biggest hole, fine, whatever. The biggest damage, the biggest DPS loadout you can do with drones is this. Uh, the two heavies, in a Vexor anyway, because you got 75 megabits to work with. Two heavies, two mediums and a light. Now you don't always want to launch this configuration. Um, this is, if you're fighting battleships, this is the configuration that you want out. Um, maybe for battlecruisers too. For battlecruisers, I usually just launch five mediums. Um, and for frigates, destroyers and stuff, I'm launching the hornets. But this is the most DPS you can pop out. Um, so with those tech two Vespas, we're actually up to 557 DPS. That's pretty nice. And look, I only got five and a half days left. I'm feeling good about my life. So this is my favorite um, PVE build for the Vexer. Um, the blasters give me something to do. Webbing stuff down is super important. Going around quickly so you can grab loot is good. Even with an MTU, MTUs aren't that fast. It takes, they go and drag the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's almost here, 60 kilometers. Forget it, just fly around and enjoy yourself. Don't, don't be dinking around with MTUs. Um, you can go pretty quick in this thing and it's got good resists and decent HP per second from the armor repair and as much cap as you can cram on it. And so I think for 45 million, you really can't go wrong with this build. Just be careful with it. If you take it into null, there's bad people out there and they want to hurt your spaceship and don't let them. And I'll see you next time on the next Eve Basics. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the things. 
and I will send you a muffin. See you later.